of the 2019 IBJJF Jiu-Jitsu World Championships. And we're kicking things off here with the female black belt roosterweight final, Rikako Yuasa in the blue gi of Japan. The uh, defending champion. She hasn't lost here in, I believe it's four years, I, Sean. I think that's right, yeah. And she's going up against the first year black belt, Maisa Bastos in the white gi of GF team. Incredible to think that this young lady in white, she was a brown belt world champion last year. And now, here she is, challenging the, the defending uh, world champion. Putting two points on the board early. Pass attempt. Yeah, Ricaco has been dominant at this weight class, but I, I think that many think that Bastos is the, is the answer for that and certainly has had a very good year as Misa. Rikako Yuasa in the blue. We don't see her compete that much. She basically, her options are limited. She's um, basically competes at Worlds every year yeah. and uh, very rarely in between, but she's just so dominant. Yeah. Her nickname, Lady Lasso, <laughs> because of her excellent use of the open guard, especially the Lasso hooks, world champion. 2015, 2016, 2017, and 2018. <laughs> Can she do the, the five world titles in a row? We'll find out here. The 2019 World Championships. Maisa Bastos right now with a two-point lead on the scoreboard. Just settling in. Maisa Bastos, she's actually down as rep representing GF team, but mm -hmm. spends most of her time training in New York at the uh, Unity Jiu-Jitsu Academy uh, under the supervision there of Morello Santana. And uh, Maisa repping both teams on the patches on her back. Yep. That's going to be two points for Akako. So even the points, but not the advantages. This is still up by one advantage into the Daily Hiva. Oh. Aggressive there yeah. from Misa. Looking to establish her, uh, her preferred <laughs> positions. Yeah. I mean, she's an excellent Perimbolo artist. Yeah. Uh, Misa is well known. I mean, she's been doing it pretty much her entire color belt career. We've been following her for some years. And um, she's one of the best Perimbolo uh, specialists in, in of either gender and any belt color. And, you know, it's definitely not her only trick. Whoa. Going for the triangle here. Rikako's posturing up. But that's, this is trouble. This is trouble. She, she's got only the head and arm in there. She's got to do some adjusting, but this could be some trouble. Managing to get the second hand in through the gap. Nope. Interesting that Meiser elected to stay low on the hips and she yeah. didn't go chasing after it. Yeah. Maybe she thought that there was a little bit too loose. Uh, we mentioned the Berimbolo and here she goes. Good grip on the pants now. We'll see if she can use this right foot. Well, where's she going to come up anyway? There it is, using the Berimbolo to sweep. Another two points on the board. Four points to two for Maisa Bastos. We were talking earlier, Sean, about how the uh, the Cicero Costa team members and the lighter weights, uh, especially those obviously that train at Unity Jiu Jitsu in New York, uh, are so well known for their pressure passing, and um, and so is Misa. She's she's just a, a, another perfect example of that. That that when she does pass guard, um, her technical gripping, her positioning, and the the way that she gets into and kills the space of her opponent is is really something special. But right now, preferring to play from guard, I think. Yeah. She's, she knows how tricky Rikako is mm -hmm. from, uh, from that bottom position. So maybe she feels more comfortable in, uh, in scoring from bottom than from top. Yeah, and, and she's scored pretty handily from both times on the bottom. So maybe that, yeah, you're, I think you're right. Rather, she's winning by an advantage. So rather take that risk on the bottom than take a risk on the top where... Lasso's strong suit is. Lasso left side. Lapel the right side.
Now these uh, these two ladies have fought before, actually, uh, a handful of times. They uh, they fought in competitions in uh, in Abu Dhabi, and they even fought in Nogi in um, in the America. Misa has won majority, if not all. Is that right? I believe that she has. I think. I, I think she, did. I she won I by two points in the uh, in the gi, and she uh, won by submission okay. in no gi. Yeah. So yeah. Misa, I have to think. Even though Rikako is the four-time world champion, you could even say that Misa is the favorite coming yeah. into this match. Yeah. keep those elbows flared is Rikako to make sure that that leg doesn't come around and come around that elbow. That right leg prevented that lift. It pummeled down through the middle and Nice use of the lapel as well yeah. through the leg is uh, from Misa. Oh, oh boy. Going around to the back yep. now. She's got a good angle. She's got a mount. Oh, potentially. Ooh. Nice save by Rikako there yep. in getting yeah. that hook in, but yep. that's still, that's going to be the sweep for Misa. Looked like she was going to go straight to the mount, Sean. Yeah, she, she went there momentarily and uh, elected to stay off to the side and Rikako's leg work might have made that decision. And then she's laid back. So if Rikako comes up, she's going to score two. It, it, it's, it's not going to matter so much on the points, but yeah, you see now Misa's up on top, but she's already scored the two for that. will score two more there. Yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? Because uh, Misa, is, is, she's not being swept. Nope. She's simply allowing Rikako <laughs> yeah. to come on top. Yep. She's just accepting the bottom position mm -hmm. as just, hey, I can sweep you when I want, and I would rather be on my back where I feel safer, I guess, than passing her guard. That's, a, uh, that's an incredible... Quiet confidence, huh? Yeah, and it might be uh, a, a large amount of respect to the guard of Rikaku Lasa as well. Whoa. Rikaku really knee cutting through there, but. Rikako's ability, sorry, Meister's ability to get those feet in from just the, the tiniest spaces and yeah. just recover her guard and get to the, the, the solid positions, her feet on the biceps, it's just really something special. Yeah. And now, look at that. Using the lapel, feeding it around her own leg. Yep. Yeah. She did this well already. If she gets up over that knee, that's, the pro that's when it's a real big problem for Rikako. She can invert enough and then cut back the other way. Her hips will come up over that knee. Maisa oh. Bastos has a nice oh. rolling counter. A beautiful counter. Yeah. Aggressive now from Rikako as well. She knows that she's down to advantage. Oh. She's coming on hard now. That may be worth an advantage, that pass attempt here. It's got to be close. No, no, the side ref, no, no referee agrees. Oh, yet. another triangle oh. attempt from Misa. Rikako's going to slide uh, out of this. The aggression one. of uh, Rikako may be costing her there. She doesn't really have a choice, Rikako. Maybe she can yank her arm out and go for a toe hold here. On the plaza, possibly, for Misa. 
Coming out the back door for a sweep, no. Simply holding position, gonna ride out the clock, three seconds. And she takes it, the black belt world champion, the first black belt world champion of 2019. <laughs> this lady right here, Misa Bastos, in her first year as a black yeah. belt, the rooster weight defeats the four-time world champion Rukako Yuasa of Japan for an incredible achievement. Well, Misa Bastos had two matches yesterday to make it into the final here today, dethroning the four-time champion. Very emotional day for her, I'm sure. Realization of a dream. Yeah, and, and just has a long career ahead of her as well. It's a good start to the black belt career for Misa Bastos. Yeah, she was champion as a brown belt here last year. And now here, 2019, wins her first of what could be many yeah. Black Gen Belt World yeah. Championship titles. GFT, Just overcome with emotion <laughs> is Misa Bastos. Really is, I think it's... it's, it's